Ooh, look what showed up today. Racer style gaming chair. Have to do the have a have to do a review on this. Ooh, I got it in red. Nice. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And check this out. I just received this. I'm extremely excited. It's the Killaby gaming chair. This is red. Model number is, I believe, what the heck is it? 9015 red. And we're going to build this thing today. I just received it. I'm all excited about it. Um, it was setting up my new office. And we're going to build this bad boy. And uh, we're going to Ooh. Holy crap, look at this thing. It's a gaming chair. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Red and black. Killer bee. Take it out of the plastic wrap here. Okay, so there's Mounting, mounting stuff on the side. So it looks like it's going to be, this is where we're going to be mounting stuff to. So let's put that aside. That's the back. And then we have, what is this? Looks like the cushion, lumbar support. So it would seem. Then we have, looks like the handles. Now oh, these are the type that I like. I like the type that actually fold away. So these get mounted, so if I don't want to use them, they stick straight up in the air. If I want to use them, they go down. And that's huge with me. As you remember with my black and white chair that I reviewed, I'll have that right here. If you want to see it, I'll have the link right here to that chair. Um, Let's continue with this. Here's the hardware. And here is the... Oh, this is a recliner? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, oh my gosh. This has the ability to recline. <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding me? Not sure if I'd be interested in something like that. But uh, we will see how this goes. That's a little bizarre. We'll see how this all goes together. So we put that aside here. And the base. Oh, here's the other arm. The other arm is here. And here's the base. I like the accents, red and black. Piston goes here and the wheels. So, okay. So it asks us to do the wheels first in the instructions. And you know what? I'm going to put the gloves on just to make the whole kit useful. I feel like OJ Simpson all, all of a sudden. The gloves barely fit. Okay. So let's put on these uh, these wheels. So the and there's five, not four. So these things will snap right into place like so. There we go. That was real easy. All you do is just simply just push down on these bad boys. Push them right in, and they lock right in into place. Just so you, if you wanted to know. We've got the piston, which goes like so, like that. This is the part that goes, this goes like so, like this. This is how you raise and lower the chair. So this gets screwed 
this gets screwed to the base of the chair and we're going to look at that spring it's pretty beefy and then here's the controls for that this is up close usually you don't see this up close so you have lock see lock and then you have the other tilt and lock pretty wild stuff so let's roll this out of the way rolls nice though and this is on a rug still confused about the power and then it comes with all the hardware and and the tool that is required to use this so that's that's a huge home run right there so let's poke out the tool and so I'm just going to remove this I don't, I don't foresee that being useful at the moment All right, so we're gonna just show you this when it's completed. All right. We have the chair. Oh. So the USB cable is for this, which is weird. I'm not really quite sure what it does. The instruction manual doesn't say what it does. There is a power switch for it and it's USB powered. I would suspect some sort of vibration. Let's take a quick peek inside of this thing and see. Yeah, so that's all it is. It's a vibrator. It's like a little motor with an off balance weight and it just vibrates. I find that being a stupid gimmick and I would probably not use it. <laughs> that's just me. Um, so we're going to put that aside, the USB cable, put that aside. And uh, this is an interesting thing. It didn't really come with anything to hold it on properly. It had a, it had a, a, a wood screw on the side of this to prevent this from sliding out, but nothing really that uh, fancy. I find this being useless. I guess maybe if you wanted to support your thighs, that's what this would be for. So let me just roll back a little bit so you can see. So this would be mounted like so. Or maybe maybe you have it upside down. Hang on, let's try this. So we'll do this and do this. So then if I maybe like that, if I wanted to, and then this thing leans back, I believe this, if I can find the controls to to lean back. And then I guess it would sit like this when you're not in use. I don't know, it's kind of a weird thing because kind of gets in the way if you're not using it. So, um, I don't like it. It's useless. Then you have to have your legs spread like this and then this thing is in the center. I don't see the need for it. So we can take, get rid of that. You can still play like this without that stupid thing in the way. And I want to bring it back up again. Oh, so you can have it adjustable where you want it and then lock it and then you have the chair back. So it's a lockable item. So it's not one of those, you pull up, make the adjustments, then push down, lock it in place. And then pull it like a regular car seat. I don't know. I like, I think I'm gonna give it, um, the only thing I don't like about it is that you can't remove the handrails. I mean the armrests, they're permanent. Since the thing is a recliner, that's the reason why it's, they move, but that you can't remove them because that's the part of that feature. When you're reclining, these, these armrests have to move, and that's the reason why they are in this position. Um, but it is what it is. I'll have a link in the description below to purchase this bad boy if you want it. I'm going to give it... Um, Probably a four-star rating because the vibrating thing and the leg thing is pointless. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. <sighs> if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time. By the way, I'm going to be having an assistant. She's going to be starting soon. Where do you, see, where do you check her out? Later.